Hello everybody and welcome back to another Animal Crossing video. Today I am bringing you a video about catching scorpions during the day. I know that sounds absolutely crazy and this is kind of a two-in-one video because I'm going to show you how to create a scorpion island just as if we would in the tarantula island video and also how to catch them during the day. So I had a lot of really good feedback on my catching tarantulas during the day video. I hadn't seen anybody else that posted any videos like that or that had figured out that little trick. And so ever since then, I've been getting a lot of comments on that, but as well as scorpions, because now if you're in the Northern Hemisphere as I am, you can no longer catch tarantulas, but instead you can catch scorpions. So today I am going to show you how to one, create a scorpion island and two, catch these scorpions during the day. So if you're a tired, busy mom like me, you can go ahead and catch these little guys during the day so you don't have to stay up all night doing it. If you're new here, please consider hitting that subscribe button, giving this video a thumbs up and leaving us a comment to show your support so I can continue making more amazing Animal Crossing videos for you and all of our fellow nerdy gamers out there. Let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you want to do is buy your Nook Mile ticket and go out to your secret mystery island. I do want to say this is going to work best if you get on Bamboo Island, especially, especially if it's raining. If you get on any other island, it will still work. It'll just be more time consuming and a much slower process. And honestly, guys, if you get on an island that has multi-tiers, it's probably not really worth your time. It will work. It's just not going to be worth the time of climbing up all the different levels. And that's because now that the other bugs, such as water bugs and all kinds of other things are spawning where they weren't previously. So you'll see I am not on Bamboo Island, which is great because I can show you that it will work on an island that isn't Bamboo Island, but it is a slower process because of the spawn rate and because of the water. Once you get on your island, you do want to clear up as much of the island as you can and bam, do you see that in the distance? We already have one. There is a tarantula out there because we've went ahead and we've cleared everything else that a bug can spawn on like the trees and the flowers. And now since there is water on this island, we will get the water bugs. And that's why these islands aren't as effective as Bamboo Island. But as you can see, it's still working. And you also notice it is during the day. So please listen to this tip for making this work during the day. I had a lot of questions after my last video about it and I'm going to tell you exactly what you have to do and if you don't follow these exact steps, it's not going to work. So the first thing you do is you buy your Nook Mile ticket and you will fly out to the island between 7 p.m. and 4 a.m. That is when the tarantulas and the scorpions spawn. So then you'll do, oof, okay. Let's give that another try. So anyway, you will need to go to the island between 7 p.m. and 4 a.m. when the tarantulas or the scorpions are spawning. Now, after you do that, you can go ahead and clear your island then and there, or you can decide to do it in the morning. So once you have gotten to your island, you either clear it or you don't clear it, and then you put your system into sleep mode and you let your system sit overnight. So you just let it sit while you're sleeping. That's what I do because I have three kids and I'm tired. Once you get up in the morning or whenever you have time to play, you'll go ahead and then clear your island if you haven't done that yet and you keep going and you just farm tarantulas or farm scorpions, whichever one you're searching for. And this is because once you hit the island, the island time doesn't change. The time on the clock will change, the time on your system will change, but the time on the mystery island stays. So if you get there at 10 p.m., until you leave that island, your game thinks it's 10 p.m. Okay, seriously, these little things are getting on my nerves. But anyway, the island time doesn't change. So once you get there, you can go ahead and spend as much time as you need farming the tarantulas or the scorpions because it's not going to change. Now, once you go back to your island, it's going to update the time and your game will keep going in current time. It doesn't mess with any part of the game. It's not time traveling. It's none of that. It's just the pure fact that once you're on the island, that time doesn't update until you've returned back to your town. 
As of now, as I'm editing this video, I haven't seen anything that suggests that Nintendo is going to patch that or change that in any way. I guess that could always be possible in the future, but as of now, as I'm recording this, this is a totally workable method. And as you can see, it does work on other islands, not just Bamboo Island. As mentioned before, it will work better on Bamboo Island, but it is possible on these other islands. So now, are you going to go out and try to farm some scorpions this way? Because I'm certainly getting a lot of them. It's not taking me very long to fill up my whole inventory with these scorpions. There are quite a few spawning on this island at a time, so I'm very lucky to- What the heck? I swear these scorpions have got to be the most ridiculous bug in this game. Anyway! I'm pretty lucky that there's a lot of them spawning on this island and I managed to fill up my inventory very, very quickly. So it is a successful way to build your money if you need to do that, as long as you've got an hour or two to spare. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So if you have any questions on how to do this method or anything, let me know how it works for you. If it's working great for you, that is fantastic. I would love to hear your success stories with using this method. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. Please give this video a big thumbs up and leave me a comment down below to show your support for this tired, exhausted mom of three. And I will see you guys in my next Animal Crossing video. Thank you so much for watching and happy gaming. Bye.